Hey everybody, it's Ms. Dietrich. I'm going to give you a little introduction on how to add integers. And I have three examples and we'll do a few more if time permits. Let's take a look at the first example that I have here at the top, which is we're adding a negative 5 and a positive 2. So let's first make sure we understand what that would look like at a number line. If we were going to start at a negative 5, and then we were going to go forward 2, because add 2 always means go right on a number line, 1, 2, where do we land? We land on a negative 3. So let's put that over here. Now I want to remind everybody that, that the commutative property states that we can switch the order of the add-ends and it shouldn't affect the sum. So let's take a look at how that looks on a number line if we just switch the order of the add-ends. Now we're starting at a 2, so that's here now. And this means go left 5 on the number line. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and didn't we still land on the negative 3? So this just points out that community property works just fine. Let's take a look at the next one that I have, which is 4 plus negative 6. 4 would be here on the number line. Negative 6 means go left 6 on the number line. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and we landed in a negative 2. The answer to that is negative 2. Now let's see if uh, commutative property applies there. If we switch these around, and now let's start at the negative 6, which would be right here. And this, so here's where we're starting, and we're going to go forward. Adding 4 means go right 4 on the number line. 1, 2, 3, 4 on the number line, and we still landed on the negative 2. All right, now let's just, before we do this one, let's talk about these integer chips that I have here, because this is supposed to represent negative numbers, and yellow is supposed to represent positive numbers. Now, if we take a look at this first one, we have two yellow chips, so I'm just going to drag those over here, and we have five red chips, so I'm going to drag those kind of over here as well, two, three, four, and five. All right, now did you know that for every yellow chip, a red one is canceled out? It's kind of like if you take one step forward and one step back, you haven't really gotten anywhere. So this pair cancels out right here, and this pair cancels out right here. And if you look at what we have left, which is this, there's three red chips left, which is negative three, and that's why the answer is a negative three. Let's look at the chips for the next one. We have negative six, so we need, let's drag over one more. So we have a total of six red chips, one, two, three, four, five, six, and we need a couple more of the yellow chips. So let's bring a few more over. All right, and let's look for things that cancel out. This cancels out, this cancels out. These are called zero pairs. This cancels out, this cancels out. And look at what we have left. We have two red chips left. Isn't that what we have represented here? All right, now let's talk about, we haven't talked about what do you do when the signs are the same. So we just have a few minutes left to talk about that. All right, so let's look at this on the number line, this one, this example that we have right here. This means we're at a negative 3 on the number line. Let's find that on the number line. That's right here. And this means go left 2 on the number line. Go left 2, 1, 2 to the left. And look at where we've landed. We've landed on a negative 5. Now, if we use the integer chips to help us understand, I'm going to put all these positive chips back because they don't apply. We're really saying that we have three red chips and we have two red chips and we're combining, and they want to know how many red chips do we have all together. And if we count all these up, we have negative 5 red chips. Now, when you learn about subtracting integers, you're going to learn that this is the same thing as a negative 3 minus 2. So there's two ways to say go left on the number line. You could say we're adding a negative number, or you could just say a negative 2. Now, another thing that, since we just have a few seconds left here to to take a look at something that's a little more complex. You can combine all your negative numbers in a problem like this, like we have a negative 2, a negative 4, a negative 3, and ask yourself how many red chips would that be? And then take all the positive numbers, positive 5, positive 7, positive 3, positive 6, and combine all those. And then you take those two separate numbers that you have and then deal with those separately. All right, I hope you found this helpful for your introduction on how to add integers.